Hey campers, Friday afternoon, uh, no particular weekend, um, didn't have any plans and uh, some things came up so uh, my girls asked me to come down to San Diego, come visit, they haven't seen me in a while so I uh, decided that's what I'm going to do. So, work's done and leaving Sacramento right now and heading down to the San Diego area. I'm going to spend a weekend with my girls and uh, take my niece out to dinner. She just graduated uh, from college and uh, we're going to go out and celebrate with her tomorrow night. But while I'm driving here and I've got a lot of driving to do in about eight hours, I've just been thinking about videos. What videos can I make besides just camping trips? And I think that I really enjoyed the video I made of Pewter Creek. I believe I called it Walkabout, Scouting Pewter Creek. I really enjoyed that and the video turned out very well. It also turned out to be very popular, which surprised me. <laughs> thought all you guys were out there to watch a fishing. Oh, that's right. I don't catch anything. So I'm thinking that I need to do some serious research on places to go visit. Take a day trip out there or even an hour or two trip if it's close enough. And do a little video of it. Do some exploring. Not just kayaking and fishing and camping. Um, so just giving you a heads up going to be getting some of that and where I'm going have no idea if I find myself in a place that I think people will be interested in seeing it's gonna be a video on it I really enjoyed my uh, Don Pedro camp out solo camp trip and I'm definitely going back there try a different area um, I could probably get three or four trips out of that um, little pond up there a lot of places to go and look there. Although it's starting to get a little cool, I'm not sure um, what it's like out there. I know it can get windy. People are saying it's really windy out there, so that'll have to be something I've got to take into account. But I think winter might be a little bit slower as far as uh, uh, people out there boating and, and skiing and that sort of stuff, because the water's going to be a little chilly. Found another little campsite. Uh, the way back from the office. A very small, only like 16 campsites as a day area and you can go visit there and it's right in the delta. And it looks like a good place to take a kayak and just paddle around and maybe do some fishing and see what happens. Uh, I think it's time to be a little bit more of a guide to the area I live in. Um, I don't see a lot of videos of California, Northern California and some of the areas. I mean there's camping and kayak videos but um, not that many. You do a search on it and you get very few results. So I think I'm gonna start doing that. So there you go. Thinking while I'm driving. <laughs> More to come. Talk to you later. Hey campers, well, uh, family visit is done, I'm on the return trip, a mere eight hours to go, and uh, it was a good visit, I haven't seen my kids in a while, and i got to tell you, I get up every morning for that reason, is my two girls. Um, first thing I think of in the morning when I get up is, I'm glad to be up, and I can spend time with my girls. 
um, although they're older now and they're getting on with their life, they're at that point where things are changing for them. They're no longer having to rely, rely on daddy anymore. Now they have their own life. But I, they still want to see me and I go down whenever I can. So, good trip. I love to see my kids. Got to see the rest of my family as well. My brother, my sister-in-law, and my favorite niece. Uh, we actually, I actually went down to celebrate her graduation from college. And uh, so now it's an eight hour drive back. <laughs> Plan is, think about why I go camping and maybe pass it on to you and, and give you some reasons to, to get into the outdoors with your family or on your own and uh, give you my thoughts on why I go camping. It was a good idea and it's a good family experience. Although I don't do a lot of family camping because obviously uh, my family is not close. 99.9% uh, .9 of my camping is solo. I, it's still the same reasons apply. So during the road trip, there you go. I'll come up with some ideas. Hang in there. It's a long trip. <laughs> Hopefully you'll get something out of it. When you plan a camping trip, um, another reason uh, to go is to ask yourself, why am I going? Is it just to get away? There has to be a reason you're going, whether it's solo, with one or two buddies, your partner, or your family, there's a reason you're going. Make sure when you go, you accomplish that reason. Um, things to think about. Camping, you're going outdoors. You're going to a place where you're out in nature, might as well take advantage of it. And that means, I don't know, where you set up your camp, Put away some time to go for a walk, a nature walk. Have a look around, look at what's there. Nature has a lot to offer. It has got some beautiful and some really ugly sights. Both are an advantage to you. You can learn something. You point it out to them and then take it. Whoops. <laughs> Did you see that? That will be my fast track coming apart because it's so hot outside that the uh, Velcro came apart. Whoops. Anywho, back to what I was thinking. Hmm, that kind of broke the concentration there. These are things that you should be thinking about all the time. For me, I wish I'd done that. Another reason I like planning camping trips is the actual planning. Once I've found out where I've decided I wanted to go and I sit down and start planning and I do all the planning, um, I find myself really anticipating the trip. I don't know if it's because I plan and all the planning and that gets me excited about it, but I've got to tell you not every time coming back from a camping trip do I feel that I accomplish what I wanted to. I'm always a little disappointed that this didn't happen or I expected this and it's not the, the destination that I went to. It's typically I didn't, come, I didn't do what I anticipated or my expectation was a little high. Um, however, it doesn't happen every time. My last Don Pedro trip, I planned for weeks and it was going to be a two night trip and it landed up being a one night trip because, uh, so, but it was still the best trip I've been on so far. It turned out to be a lot better than I thought it was. Didn't start off well, but once I had made my camp and found my place, I got everything done I, I wanted to accomplish and it was a really good camping trip. I really enjoyed it. If not all your trips will be, you know, what you plan, but you can always make the most of when you get there. And you know what? Problem solving when you get there is something you can involve your family in as well if you're with your family. Making a board game or cards or things like that. And 
making it a, um, a family activity rather than them sitting staring at their phone, texting, twittering, whatever they're doing with their buddies. You know, um, so it's a good time to get family time in and you know, help them, have them plan it and everything. Like I said, however, not all the trips are so, as successful as you're hoping they'll be, but they're always worth it, good or bad. There you go, another reason. Another reason. <laughs> I like to kayak and I've got to tell you if you're not kayaking uh, when you're going out in the outdoors something you might want to think about as an activity. Consider going somewhere where you can kayak. People say to me I, you know we don't have kayaks we don't do it that much. Um, I'm not saying go out and buy yourself a kayak just to go on a camping trip. Um, there are a lot of places where you can rent kayaks or even canoes. There's local shops in the cities, um, you know, camping and boating shops that allow you to rent kayaks for the weekend and it's very reasonable the pricing. Uh, even for California I found you can rent uh, a pretty good kayak uh, or canoe for about 50 bucks for the weekend. And you know, go somewhere where you can use it. It's really fun to do. You get out on the water, you get some exercise, and getting a look at nature two miles. from it. Use the left two lanes to take exit 1A, 4 or 5 North, Golden State Freeway towards Sacramento. And I'm allowed to talk again. Uh, you'll get to see so many different things, and it's a different view looking at um, a lake or a river while on it. Um, you know, when you're from the shore, you, you're familiar with the sights. You get on the water and look at it from a different perspective. It's really, really surprising. Another reason for me to go camping is I've discovered over the past camping trips I've done is I sleep better. I really get a good night's sleep. See? No. <laughs> Going through a tunnel. Anywho, where I should drive because apparently I don't know anything and she's still with me. Continue on I-210 West for 19 miles. See? It's kind of bossy, but it's okay. Anyway, I get a lot of sleep when I go camping. But when I'm camping, I find I'm typically on my own when I'm doing solo camping. I go to bed fairly early. I'm talking about 8, 8.30 in the evening. And I find I still sleep through until 5 o'clock. I get up at 5 but I find it a very restful sleep and I don't know because it's quiet or your mind rests easily because you don't have to worry about what you're doing tomorrow or anything like that. Uh, so for me, I get a good night's rest when I'm out camping. I think it may have to do with a lot of uh, activities involved in the day before. Um, you get out to the camp campsite, you've got to set the camp up, you prepare everything. You're fishing, you're walking, you're looking around. And for the family, it's the same thing. You know, if I'm camping with a group, I tend to stay up a little bit later. You know, the campfire talk uh, goes on a little bit longer than when you're on your own because you run out of things to say to yourself. <laughs> but sitting around the fire is a great place to have conversation with your family, just things in general. Nothing serious, everybody just chats and stares into the fire, making s'mores or whatever you're doing. It's a good family time. And another reason to go camping is when you plan a trip, set yourself some goals. What do I want to accomplish on this trip? If it's a family trip, do I want to introduce the kids to something in camping? Have them build a fire, show them how to make a fire, the correct way to do it. How do you set up a camp? Why you set up the camp that way? How do you put up a tent? How do you hang a hang hammock? How do you set up your kitchen? Where do you put your supplies? Why? Let them know so that they understand that 
when they grow up and they have families, they can pass this on to their families. And it just makes camping safer. It makes it better, more enjoyable for them. They don't have any problems when they're camping. So setting some goals is always a good idea. And once again, if you set those goals, they don't have to be hard and fast goals, but give yourself some ideas on what you want to accomplish. For me, the tasks are typically, I'm going to go there and relax. I set myself, I want to catch a fish. I do it every time. Don't always do it, but I have fun trying. Um, you know, I always, I've got something new that I bought that I wanted to take camping with me. I try to make sure I use it and see if I can get it to work the way that I hoped it would and it will help me the way that I expected it to. Um, so those are little things that I always set myself. When your camping's over and you get home and you think about what you just spent in the weekend, it'll give you that sense of accomplishment. So there you go. Another reason to go camping. Family orientated and it's a great way to spend time with your family. Are you kidding me? Ass. Well, made it home <laughs> through the good graces of the Lord I nearly didn't make it anyway I'm home I'm home safe hopefully you got something good out of the video and we will see you soon uh, have a camping trip planned so see you soon